still in one piece. Yeah, it's still in one piece. I didn't break anything up here either. Uh, <laughs> I didn't go down. Matt, obviously, for much of the day was a frustrating offensive day. So what was it like to, to be able to come through there late? It's the last few drives. Yeah, I thought, you know, it was, it was a grind um, most of the day. And, you know, I think it's a great learning lesson for a lot of our young players that sometimes in this league, that's the way it is. Uh, and you got to find a way to get the job done. And I thought um, we battled. And then when it was time, you know, we stepped up, made the plays we had to make. And I thought the last two drives were, were, uh, were clutch and, and really good for us. And a lot of different people making plays in those situations, which is going to bode well for us moving forward. I'm curious on the, on the sideline when that's going on, is, is your coach saying anything to you guys? Is he coming over to the bench when the offense comes off the field or messaging? Or just yeah, keep, you know, it's, it's keep fighting, you know, and, um, you know, try and clean up the things we need to clean up. And, and just keep battling and keep fighting. And I thought Art did a great job uh, of that the entire day. I thought the assistant coaches on the sideline did a great job of that. And um, we just had a belief that, you know, regardless of, of how tough it was going, we we're going to make the plays when we needed to. And, um, you know, that's a, that's a good thing for us moving forward. We have to have that belief as we continue to, uh, to build as a team. Did the quarterback do a good job of that too? And uh, especially <laughs> before that last drive? Going down for the field goal, what was your, what were your, your message? Yeah, I think the message was, you know, hey, we, we got to do our job. Whatever's called, whatever your responsibility is for that play, you need to do it. We don't need to do any more or any less. You just need to do your responsibility. And uh, I thought, guys, you know, tighten things up. We did a really good job of that coming in. Do you say anything in the huddle at the start of that drive? Or did you say anything? Right before we go out, that's exactly what I said. You know, we, we're going to win this game. All you got to do is your job and, uh, you know, focus on whatever play call comes in, what your responsibility is, uh, and then go do it the best you can. And uh, I thought guys did a great job of that. Matt, what did they do early, what did they do early on to take Kyle away? And then uh, uh, two big catches late that helped you get in position for the uh, touchdown and the, uh, and the field goal. Yeah, I thought, I thought they had a nice plan uh, to come out and, and try and keep things in front. Uh, at different times, two guys on Calvin and, and zone coverage and two guys over top where, where Kyle was, uh, not letting anything really down the field, trying to keep things in front of them, forcing us to check the football down and be patient. Um, you know, but then we had some chances, you know, a third down situation where Kyle runs the crossing route and uses his big body. That was a crucial third down conversion for us. Um, and then, you know, really made a great play on the pass interference call too. You know, when you have a big body guy like that and there's off schedule plays in the red area, uh, you have confidence of, of giving guys opportunities, opportunity throws. And, you know, that set us up to, to finish that drive off. And then I thought the catch on the corner route, you know, on the last drive of the game really kind of, that, that sealed the deal. It got us in position to, to run the football, take some time off the clock and allow Koo to go out there and knock it in. You, you, mentioned, kind of, you mentioned belief a few times that every person's come through here. What was it like the last two weeks that, and what happened maybe to keep you believing? What was it that Arthur was doing or that y'all were doing to say, okay, I'm going to keep believing, even though the results were you know, two plus I'd lost? Yeah, I think, you know, uh, th there was a lot of, of positive things uh, that we had done and, and a lot of good on those tapes. There wasn't enough of it, um, but there was, there were, you know, signs that showed that we can do this at a high level. And uh, again, today wasn't perfect, but, you know, I think the mindset was right that, you know, we just felt like whatever came in, we were going to make the plays we needed to make at the end. And, um, you know, I think it's going to help us, you know, continue to believe that when it, you know, comes to fruition. You go out there and you make the plays and you win the games. And so uh, it's, it's definitely harder when the results aren't there. Uh, it becomes a little bit easier when you do make the plays and you get the result you want. And hopefully that's something we can build on as we move forward. Is Arthur doing that through messaging? Is he doing that through showing it on film? Is he like putting up signs like Ted Lasso? Like what's what's he doing? He's different from Ted Lasso. You know, he's he's definitely got a different approach than uh, than Ted Lasso. But um, there's no belief sign in there in the locker room that the guys tap. But <clears throat> um, he he does it a number of different ways. You know, with messaging, uh, showing the film, showing the good, showing the bad. Uh, but with the bad, showing how we can correct it and, um, you know, making it constructive. And I think guys have, uh, have taken that coaching to heart, the good and, and the tough, and, and tried to improve. And that's what we've got to continue to do as players. Could you put, put us in the locker room uh, when you're giving the, the game ball over to Arthur and what was said and how did he react? 
Well, he gave out a number of game balls before, and uh, it was cool to see you know him show appreciation for some of the behind the scene guys that have really helped us. Um, and I just think you know having been around a long time uh, and knowing you know it's tough to win in this league. There's no doubt about it. And his first time doing it as a head coach, that's a special moment. And uh, hopefully, you know, that's something that you know he'll always remember this game up here and the way we won and how we did it and, and that game ball is sometimes a nice little thing to have uh, to remind you of that and so um, he was fired up you know it was it was cool to see he was fired up in the locker room and before he got in there I understand he, he kind of gave everybody a hug coming off the field almost took you down with a hug I, mean, I try to give him a shot too like a little a little something he hugged me kind of hard so I gave him I gave him a little something back but I think we were both fired up and uh, you know that's that's why you work as hard as you do you know um, you know, you, you want to win football games. You want to celebrate with the guys after wins. And uh, hopefully we can do a lot more of that as we move forward. And, and what do you mean the guys that are kind of behind the scenes? I don't know if that's too, you know, secret inside baseball, but who, what, what do you mean by that? Yeah, I think you can ask Art about that. But some of the, you know, operations guys and uh, equipment staff and, and guys like that that, you know, nobody knows. Uh, nobody knows, but we all know and uh, we all appreciate. And uh, they make our lives, you know, a lot easier. And uh, certainly, you know, take a lot of, of uh, strain off of us. And uh, we're certainly thankful for everybody in our building. So was that as hard as you were hit all day then, Arthur? <laughs> <laughs> he's a big dude, man. He, he's, he's a big guy. Uh, I wouldn't say that's the hardest I got hit, though. Yeah. There, were, there were a few other ones. Have you seen him that animated or that excited? Uh, since, since that's the first time we've won together. And so, you know, that's, that's the first time I've seen that. I've seen him animate it, <laughs> you know. I've definitely seen that, but that was the first time I've seen it in a winning environment, so it's pretty cool. I heard there was some dancing. There was, there was some dancing in the locker room. I didn't. I, there was no dancing for me. I didn't see any from Art either. But there's plenty of dancing across the board. Hey, um, what was the uh, the quarter rail drive kind of kickstarted that drive? What, what happened on that play? You mentioned Jake and quarter rail. Yeah, I thought both those guys. Um, you know, two of our our very best players in a critical situation, going out there and making a play and. Uh, an excellent timing route by CP to kind of set it up and then come back. And uh, Jake doing a great job. He's one of the most athletic guys of just getting out there and getting enough of a piece to get it started. And uh, I thought it was a really good call by Art and, and really good execution by those two guys. What do you think of the defense being able to, uh, to hold them to just a couple scores? Man, our defense played really well today. And with, a, you know, with some guys down and AJ out and uh, TJ stepping up, a lot of different people, you know, stepping up and making plays. But they kept us in it. You know, they really did. We, it was tough sledding for us on offense, and uh, our defense really kept us in it until the end. And uh, I'm proud of their effort. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. Thank you, man.